So, this is every little thing she knows, and in this episode we see that Starlight Glimmer has been doing very well with her magic spells, and appears to be Twilight's equal, or even better in that department, as observed in the cold open. However, one area that Starlight is still currently lacking in is her friendship lessons. She's a little uneasy about those lessons, so much so that she is going to attempt to do five at once using magic to impress the socks off of Twilight while she and Spike are away at Cantalot to present at Celestia's school. And those friendship tasks are as follows. Big cake with Pinkie Pie, sew with Rarity, catalog family photos with Applejack, help Fluttershy with her animals, and chillax with Rainbow Dash. So she uses a hypnotic spell, I'm not going to use words for the spells here, on the main five to help with her lessons. As we've learned with attempting to use magic to solve friendship problems, or make them in lesson zero, it doesn't end well, especially when turning them into pony versions of Siri and they take your instructions literally. Twilight and Spike return to the mess and tell Starlight that she was missing the point of the lessons. The emphasis was not on baking an actual cake, but to get to know Pinkie Pie. Starlight is likely not the best at baking, sewing, cataloging, animal care, or chillaxing, but the point was to get to know the rest of the main five. Starlight apologizes for her actions, and the lessons go off better, especially the chillaxing part. This episode does have some hints of Lesson Zero, but the point here is that while friendship is magic, magic does not necessarily mean friendship. Starlight is equaling Twilight in terms of magic, but social skills are clearly lacking. Twilight had some social skills, but they were not geared towards making friends at the beginning. The lesson is a bit repetitive of having magic solve your problems, aka when to wrap up and inspiration manifestation, but given the context of the story, it still works here. There are times when we need to occasionally relearn a lesson. That's for the longtime viewers of the show in particular. So this was a very good episode for the lesson being taught here. It may be a bit repetitive, but some of the best lessons need to be relearned once in a while. So overall, a great lesson about how magic can't always solve your problems, a very relatable conflict with Starlight, the comedy was good, and the magic practice session at the start was actually pretty cool. But it's not the most original lesson, of course. Overall, this episode gets an A. I actually really enjoyed this episode and thought it was one of the better episodes of the season. And on a side note and a more sadder note, this is, episode is actually the last episode storyboarded by Sabrina Albergetti. She's been working with the, so, with the show since the very beginning and she's a very popular figure among MLP fans, so... You know, congratulations to her and her husband, aka Mando Pony, and, you know, hopefully they'll go on to do bigger and better things, but honestly, when people leave the show, it is quite sad. Remember Amy Keating Rogers from last season, and it, it was quite sad, you know, I really... I hate it when people leave, you know, it really is sad. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.